Hi, well I'm here to show you how to change out the piston on the Hilti DX351 powder actuated tool. It doesn't matter whether the tool has a nail magazine or a single nail fastener guide, the steps are exactly the same. I'll also take time to show you a few maintenance tips on keeping the tool running. Before starting any maintenance on the DX351, be sure the tool is unloaded. Remove the cartridge strip, if in the tool, by gripping the tab and pulling it straight out through the top of the tool. This is a single nail tool and to replace the dry piston, the first thing you have to do is remove the fastener guide. To do so, grab this collar on the fastener guide and unscrew it until free of the threads. Remove the fastener guide from the tool. To remove the piston, rotate the black collar counterclockwise 360 degrees and stop. Remove the piston from the guide sleeve. Here is an example of a badly worn piston. This one should be replaced. This is what a new piston looks like or one that is acceptable to use. If in doubt, just replace it. Before replacing the piston and reassembling the tool, here are a couple of things to do first. Clean the tool parts that have visible powder residue on them. There is a cleaning kit included with the tool. Use a wire brush and clean the back of the piston and run the brush inside the piston guide sleeve. You should also spray a little oil on the parts as shown. Apply sparingly and wipe down leaving a fine film. Only use the Hilti spray lube included with the tool kit. Other types of lubricant can damage the tool or create a safety issue. To reassemble the DX351, set the piston in the guide sleeve as far as it will go. Tighten the black collar, turning clockwise. Hold the tool firmly and place the fastener guide over the piston. Push it firmly into the guide sleeve to engage the threads in the collar with those threads on the guide sleeve. Maintain pressure on the fastener guide collar and screw it onto the tool until the fastener guide collar clicks into place. Depress the tool against a firm surface like a workbench or the floor and pull the trigger. The firing pin should click. The tool is now ready for use. Now that you've seen how easy this all is, let's get back to work.